This is Lara Rosignol with Fresh Pie Vintage, and I am showing you some of my best sales from 2019. I decided to go through and take a look, and I think I have some good bolo things in here, um, things to be on the lookout for, and um, just some of my best buys and best sales for the year that could be interesting. So I'm starting off with, in January, I um, had this beautiful set of Jane Eyre and uh, uh, books by the Bronte sisters, which um, came in this box deluxe set. You can see they are, they were quite large, actually oversized books. I got them at an estate sale. I paid $2 each for them. They have a set price there for at this particular sale for books usually. And um, and they were kind of pushed in the back of a bookcase and I just happened to see them and pull them out and thought they were something special. And when I did my research, um, they do go, go for very good money and I ended up selling the pair at, for $125. So that was a really good sale including shipping on that so that was a great find and then this is a set of uh, fire king as you write ice blue boss blossom bowls and this this was funny because i got these at a um little antique store i just happened to stop in i'd gone to an estate sale up in hendersonville north carolina and really didn't find much there but on the way back i saw this little store I looked through the whole store, didn't find anything, and then in the last cabinet, I saw these bowls, and I knew right away they were Fire King, and the woman said, oh, everything in that cabinet is two-thirds off, so I was like, oh, okay, so I looked at these. The whole set I got of 15 bowls for a dollar each. They were 50, ended up being $15. She had the mark, I think, at 45 or something, so, um, I and I paid a little bit of tax on that. And I ended up selling them in pairs of two. So that was how I sold them. And I sold them for $18 a set. And then I ended up selling the last two sets. I upped the price to $20 a set and sold the last two set for $40. So I ended up making over $100 on these. And then this was a beautiful uh, mid-century decanter that I found at a Goodwill. Um, near me. I paid $9.99 for it. It was in fantastic condition. The top was amazing. And um, luckily through, I posted on Instagram and somebody on there gave me information about it. I didn't know that it was Indiana glass. I didn't know anything about it. So I was able to really do some good research, get all the information and ended up selling that for a hundred and uh, 10 I think plus yes plus shipping and shipping was a pretty expensive it was quite a large piece but um, the person who got it loved it and left really good feedback and it was a really beautiful thing so um, and I paid a little bit up for that paying $9.99 at a Goodwill but when I saw it I just thought it would it would sell and then this was part of a lot of jadeite that I got at one particular sale, a crazy sale, estate sale. Um, people were waiting from four in the morning to get into the sale. They had all kinds of uh, farm and, you know, all kinds of collectibles in this house. Uh, the person was a real collector and there was a ton of jadeite. And I went right for the shakers that they had and was able to grab a bunch of them including this one, which had this beautiful little label for curry powder on it. It's a Jeanette glass beehive shaker, um, tiny, you know, size of a salt shaker. And I paid $10 for each shaker and that I bought and um, sold this one. This was the most profitable for $85 and um, in, including shipping. So, um, so that was quite a good buy. I sold almost everything jade wise that I got at that sale for a good profit, but this was the, the best of that lot. And then this was a funny little, this is a print that I bought. It's a folk art print. 
I got it on the last day of a sale when everything was 50% off. It had been marked 10. I paid $5 for it. It was in a beautifully handmade kind of folk art frame. It had some damage on it, you know, a few marks and somewhat. It's a famous portrait um, called Portrait of a Girl. It's the original is in a museum somewhere. Um, very cottage style, great for a kitchen. So you can see it had some damage on it. Still was able to get $95 plus shipping for this. And then I ended up buying another one at an auction. It didn't have a as nice a frame, but I didn't pay much for it and also sold it for a very good profit. So if you see this print in good condition, grab it. It's value, It can go for good money. Now this is one of the best purchases I made uh, last year. I bought a lot of paintings, seven paintings total, all by this artist Dorothy Temple, all painted in the 1930s, um, all free canvases, not mounted, and um, I sold, I've i sold four of them so far. The first one I sold, I doubled my money. I sold it directly to somebody, and um, this was one that I sold through my Etsy shop for $395. Um, so everything I sell after that first sale has been just pure profit from this this sale. They were just beautiful. Um, I have three left. Two are listed right now in my shop. One I um, am waiting to get back. I think I have a buyer for it already. But um, I sent it up to Charlotte for a pop-up sale that I did. And I, I'm pretty sure they didn't even put it out. But that's okay. And... <laughs> So total, I haven't even told it up how much I've made from these paintings, but this was a really good investment. I think portrait paintings are very popular, um, especially, you know, vintage ones from any era are very popular, especially if they're well done and oil on canvas, especially can sell very well. And I've had good sales with that kind of thing. The next thing is cameras. Now I sell a lot of cameras. I buy a lot of point and shoots. I buy Polaroid cameras, uh, 35 millimeter film cameras. All are very popular, you know, especially with millennials are really getting into film cameras, especially easy point and shoots. This was one that I bought at an estate sale. Um, it was a, one of the more valuable ones in the point and shoot category, which means the lens cannot come off. It has a lens fixed to it, but um, they make them at all different levels. This was a nice little Minolta um AF2 camera. Now it did have corrosion in the battery and compartment. That's why I actually showed this one. I test my cameras. I keep all kinds of cam camera batteries and I also keep Polaroid film packs so that I can test Polaroid cameras. Um, I was able to clean the corroded battery compartment, use vinegar, a little bit of vinegar, uh, white vinegar to clean the compartment. Um, will work really well and sometimes but you have to make sure it works. I then tested it, made sure the flash worked, made sure it was firing and I posted it on Instagram, got interest right away from someone who contacted me and it sold for $85 including sh shipping which is not very much usually for these cameras. So um, cameras are something I love to sell and then this is a Victorian amber type that I got at a sale um, I don't even, yeah, that uh, I love, and it's great. It uh, had, ex it was kind of exceptional. I paid $15 for it, um, and actually they had switched. This side was supposed to be on this side. This side was on this side. Uh, the buyer actually pointed out a very knowledgeable um, collector, bought this for me um, pretty pretty fast at the same, within an hour of listing it. What made it so unique was the hand coloring on this. As you can see on here, all of this is colored in. Even this little she, frame is colored in. She has a, uh, a picture of somebody on her shoulder. The collar is colored in. Her cheeks are colored. These earrings are added. Rings were added. Very unusual. You see some, usually it's just like a little rouge added to the chic. This was quite elaborate and was an expensive process. Now, daguerreotypes are the most valuable usually to find because they were only produced for a short time. They're extremely reflective, but it also depends on who made the daguerreotype, who took the picture. 
you have to spend a lot of time researching these to really understand and know what you're selling and to get the right value for this. So as I said, I paid $15 for it. I sold it for $195, including shipping, um, the same day I listed it. So that was a really great sale for me. And here's another uh, sale that was really good. This was a lot that I bought of um, jadeite and a mixed lot. There was also some uh, Jeanette Glass uh, depression wear pieces in there. And um, this was the thing that really got me was the cereal container. Um, if you, you know, most people know jadeite is, uh, is very collectible. There are several makers of jadeite. Fire King is uh, probably the most popular, but Jeanette Glass also made jadeite. McKee also made jadeite. And this particular canister series is very hard and to find and very sought after. And this had some damage. There was damage to the lid, I believe, on this. You can see here some chips and stuff like this. I bought the whole lot for um, $74 after fees and tax were added to it. And I sold the whole lot for over $300, pieced out. This particular piece, this sold for $135 plus shipping. Um, and then the other pieces, including, I, there were just a couple of lids in the lot, uh, a very small lid that turned out to be the lid for a grease pot. I sold that for $15 plus shipping. And another lid, or actually that was a lid, I think, for a spice pot. And then there was a little round lid that I sold for $30 plus shipping. I mean, everything is valuable when it comes to jadeite. So um, if you can get it at a good price, it's definitely worth investing in. And then this is an interesting one. This was from my own collection. I bought this when I was in California. It's a beautiful Hanover of Pasadena casserole. Um, Hanover was a company from the 60s. They didn't make very many of these or for a very long time. Um, some And um, just got a, that's a conversation on Etsy. Anyway, um, so this is, I love this stuff. It's great. And um, I bought this through Cherish, which is another line on, online website. When I lived in California, I saw it. I really love the bird pattern. It had some damage to the lid. Um, and Cherish, if you've never looked at it, it's, you know, an interesting site. I just started doing a, a search for Hanover when I saw it. It's Hanover, sorry, not Hanover. And um, found this on Cherish. I You can make an offer. I think I got it for $35 in shipping or something like that. I ended up deciding to sell it now that I'm here in, in South Carolina. And I sold it for $130 plus shipping. So I made, you know, even that big of a payup, you can still make money on stuff. So that look, if you find this stuff, buy it. It's gr very rare. So, um, it was definitely worth it. But that also gives you a little idea of cherish and that had sat on there for a while. And I just think people don't know about that website. I didn't even at the time I had to make an, make an account to buy the, um, buy it. And that's the only thing I've ever bought there. So this is a Mexican Oxicon embroidered floral dress. And I bought this at an estate sale in Georgia. Um, it was the second day, I think I paid $5 for it, maybe eight. And um, it was a long dress, beautifully detailed, beautiful embroidery. Both sides were embroidered, um, you know, and, uh, you know, just a really nice dress. And these are very, very popular. I listed it, I paid, like I said, I think $5, I think I paid $5 for it, and listed it, sold it that same evening for $75, including shipping. So um, that's a good one to be on the lookout for. And uh, so that's a Mexican Oxicon embroidered floral maxi. And then this is another great uh, find. I got at the same estate sale that I got the... Um, Ambro type got some great stuff at that sale that I've sold and this is a beautiful Burberry trench coat now it was a summer sale and they wanted 50, I think $75 was what they had on this coat I went back the second day they were doing like a third off or something um, the coat was still there it had beautiful you know interior on it 
Um, that's my friend's daughter who modeled for me. If you can definitely get a human to model clothing, I, I definitely help think that helps sell it um, when people can see it on somebody. But um, it had some wear to the leather you can see was worn on this, but it was all original. And I asked, I made an offer. It would have been like 60 something. I offered her 50 for it and she let, gave it to me for 50 bucks because uh, it was you know, summer and, you know, she was con probably concerned that nobody would buy it. So, and I didn't want to take a chance that if I came back the last day, it would be gone. And I ended up selling it for 165 on Etsy um, to a very happy buyer who loved it. And um, so designer, true designer clothing is definitely worth it. Do your research. This was made before 1999. I think it was maybe even made in the 70s, um, you know, so, uh, so that was a great buy. And this was more recent. This is an antique Rose O'Neill Cupid doll. Now, I don't know that much about dolls. I buy them occasionally. I have a little bit of knowledge, but not a lot. I try to stick to things I know about as much as possible. But this one was bisque porcelain. I could see she was very old and she had the sticker on the front. And I didn't even notice that there was also a sticker on the back. And that was actually uh, the thing that made her extra valuable. Now I bought this on the last day of a sale. She was 50% off. She'd been $22. I paid 11. Um, and I did a lot of research and found out because I could date her because of the sticker to 1912. She was antique. Um, and you know, I found a blog that gave a lot of good information and pricing, but her arms are detached, as you can see. Now, for a doll person, that's not a big deal. Some people actually like to get them detached and restring them themselves. Um, but you can see the old, very old rubber bands that were used. And I don't even know if those were the original. But um, And there was a little bit of chip in that area as well. And you can see what I do in Photoshop is I often like will point it out that there is actual breakage here. And when I, I will do a... Um, uh, video on how to do your pictures and add things like that because it's pretty simple to do. Um, but in any case, um, she sold and the person actually contacted me. She negotiated, I think I had her at 125 and she asked if I would do 110, including shipping. And I said yes, because that was still a really good profit. So sold her again pretty quickly. And here's another one that I really liked that I sold quickly. Um, and this is a little Swedish Scandinavian mid-century wooden horse, hand-painted. It had a sticker on the bottom. And so when I was in the estate sale, I picked it up, saw Sweden, and threw it right in my basket. Um, anytime I see anything that's mid-century that has any kind of uh, Scandinavian markings, I buy it because um, if it's a good price because I know that it will sell. And I paid $2 for this little horse, beautiful little horse, looked up the name and got all the information. There are books about these horses, very collectible. I sold it for $48 uh, plus shipping um, within about a week of listing it. So, um, so that was a really good buy. And I based my price too on comps that I see other people had them listed. So I wanted to stay competitive in my listing, but also having very good pictures of the listing. Um, this is actually another one that I was going to show. This is another one that I did the same thing. This was $2. Last day of a sale. Found it. It was like under a shelf. Beautiful little ashtray. Beautiful color to it. It was only marked Italy on the bottom. That's all I knew. I looked it up. Started doing some research. Found out it was definitely Murano. Um, or, you know, uh, and it's called Adventurine. It's kind of a a slag glass, a more of an opaque glass, and um, this particular color, very rare. You could see them more in black. The turquoise is very hard to find, and um, so I paid two dollars for it, sold it for 56, including shipping. Um, that was one of my last good sales of the year. And then this was another sale, this was from a little earlier in the year, but this is one of the best sales I had too. One of my favorites because um, it really tells you you have to research things. I found this in a little antique mall near me um, and was struck by it right away. Beautiful decanter, beautiful glass, gorgeous stopper, 
all hand done, and on the bottom, a nice big sticker. Uh, it's Salvatai glass made in Italy. While I was in the shop, I did a quick Google search, found that these go for really good money. Had a couple of little nicks on it. That was it. It was otherwise really, these are factory flaws. We would call them bubbles in there, but it was just a gorgeous piece. And, um, they had it for $14. I paid, bought it. So with tax about 15 something listed it, got home, listed it that afternoon and sold it within a couple of hours for $150 plus shipping. Um, I mean, just a gorgeous piece, but the person who had it, had they just Googled this, they probably would have realized they had something really special. Um, lucky for me, they didn't do their research and I got it for a steal and sold it for a really good profit. And you know, when I sell something that quick, I realize, well, I made it, I may have undervalued it. Maybe it was worth 200 or $300. I wouldn't be surprised because I definitely saw pieces like this um, at that price point. But, um, you know, I didn't see this exact piece and I did want to make the sale and I was very happy to get uh, 150 for it. So anyway, that is uh, it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you um, are so inclined. Uh, I do plan to do, uh, as I said, uh, a lot of photo-centric videos. You can see here, just quickly, like sometimes if I have a vertical piece, I'll put two images together because you need that um, uh, rectangle for Etsy display so that it displays well in the thumb thumbnails. Um, it's very important. Obviously, a lot of people have to end up cropping their pictures because they don't, uh, you know, make sure they have a good vertical, and I will definitely plan to do something like that. So thanks for watching. Bye.